Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the Daily Office Lectionary. And for this Friday morning, let us continue our way through our second epistle to St. Timothy. Uh, Paul is just laying it all on Timothy on how to be a leader of this new community uh, that he has been left in charge of. Uh, and so let's jump right to this. Now, this is going to sound familiar if you're one who attends our weekday services. Uh, oftentimes, this is one of the readings for uh, the Holy Communion service during the week. It's uh, 2 Timothy 4, beginning at verse 1. I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also, that love his appearing. So St. Paul knows that his own end is coming soon. He knows that he is going to be a uh, judge. He's going to go to uh, Rome, uh, and he will end up being put to death for the witness of the gospel. And we know that, in fact, Paul was executed in Rome. He was beheaded, uh, whereas St. Peter was crucified like our Lord uh, because they were not Roman citizens. Paul is a Roman citizen as well as a Jew. And so the, uh, the execution style for a Roman citizen is to be beheaded. It's much quicker and cleaner. Uh, and so, uh, but, but the point here is that Paul is reminding Timothy that the time is coming when people are not going to endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap themselves teachers having itching ears. And boy, oh boy. Uh, I remember when I was the priest in my former town before I came here to St. John's, a uh, little town in western Pennsylvania called Charleroi, just south of Pittsburgh, a little ways down the Monongahela River. And uh, I remember that the uh, local newspaper uh, had a section for ads for uh, churches, and, and the heading on it was... Uh, Go attend the church of your choice. And I used to say, you know, it would be much better if that said something to the effect of attend the church that preaches the truth, right? And then leave it as a challenge for those to go and find the churches that contain the truth. Part of the reason why we have so many denominations is because people having itching ears are not enduring sound doctrine, right? They have gone off and they've broken away. Uh, and even within... The denominations themselves, there are individuals within the church who run after other leaders in the church who, rather than challenging them to holiness, challenging them to repent of sin and to live lives worthy of the calling that we're called in Jesus Christ, uh, will affirm their own proclivities. So it, it's a struggle. But, but the, the reality is, is that as fallen human beings, uh, we don't want to be challenged to the hard work. Instead, we want to go after that which makes us feel warm and fuzzy. We don't want to be you know, just as I am, without one plea, the old hymn goes. Uh, but we know that once we come to Christ, uh, we will be changed. We don't get to change him or the church. And so with the same things that Paul is warning uh, Timothy about in this story, uh, is in this letter, is a, exactly what's happening today as well, right here in 2023, right? So what do you do? Well, you, you watch in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of evangelists, make full proof of your ministry. Not just Paul, not just Timothy, but all of us, right? Our, we all have a ministry to share the good news of God in Jesus Christ. So today's Friday. We don't have public worship at St. John's on Fridays, but of course, we're saying our prayers. I hope we are praying. Uh, and of course, I hope you are praying for St. John's. You're praying for me. And I will, of course, be praying for you. And may your Friday be a day that is full of blessings.